Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Thank you very, very much for joining me today. We are going to hit the next target. We are going to expand. We need to expand, 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 expand. That's what we're going to be doing today. We've got some absolutely fantastic spots picked out. Uh, let me just come out of this view and move over here. So we've been expanding over this side of the city. Let's turn it this way around. Here we go. Um, I would like to fill in these two spots over here, or at least one of them, make them look really nice. I think we'll probably get to two. Um, because, yeah, what have we got over here? We've got this highway that comes through here. We've got this nice intersection that comes down to this intersection. And I think we can have a nice couple of rows that connect this up. Let's have a look along the back here. So we've got this road that comes alongside the highway from this part of the city. I think we need that coming over the top. We need a connection off of here as well. And let's maybe do that one first. Let's have a look. Oh, hang on. Where's it all gone? There we go. We're jumping around. I'd like... Um, do I want an asymmetrical road? Uh, let's have a four-lane... Yeah, let's have an asymmetrical road coming off of there. Let's go for three and two. No, I want a two and... And we want bike lanes as well. I mustn't forget the bike lanes. We've got those going all over the place. Let's have a look. What have we got? A two and a one. That's quite a thin load though, isn't it? I think. But that should fit over the top of there. Okay, we've got that path that we'll sort out in a sec. Let's just turn off collision. We're far enough away from that junction. Maybe let's move down a little bit here. So if we have that come out to there. Ah, what are we going to do with our path? Is our path now going to go underneath? I think it is. So let's grab that and that. And there's also that node there. Oh, darn it. Let's turn on collision again. There we go. And if we just move all that down, and that can just sort of swoop underneath. Let's go low enough. If we go into first person mode. Zip. Go low enough so we're not seeing that... Uh, light there it is sticking in the top uh, that should do for now there we go that looks good and then this can slope down actually to come out here and head into our city that is the idea what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lower that down to there but they're not gonna use the move it mod grab that node this node and that node and then use the sloping tool and it made absolutely no difference at all. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to drop these all down a bit. I'll tell you what, let's drop that one down a bit. And then we'll do it again. That one, this one, this one. There we go. I just want to get the road down quickly, but without getting in the way of anything else. And with it looking semi-realistic. I think that's okay. And then on the end of this, we're going to want... Definitely a roundabout heading out to different directions and then this road connecting it as well. I'd like to use... What roads have we got with bike lanes on? There we go. Oh, it's done it. Three lane road, bike lane. Fantastic. It wasn't showing up here, but it is now. Cool beans. There we go. That is good. And then we can turn off that. We can just double check it's all set up correctly. Control, shift, and click. And that should do dedicated turning off lanes. Give way for all the people coming on, which there would be if these were two-way roads. <laughs> we'll come back to those. Excellent. Let's delete this one here. And now I want this coming over the top. And in fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this same road here. So if we take this up there like that, up and over the top, and then down the other side, is that high enough? That seems quite low to me. Yeah, it just looks... I think trucks are getting underneath, but it looks quite low. Let's just go up a few more spots. Yeah, I think that's okay. They can all fit underneath. Fantastic. So we've got... Let's turn this bit around. There we go. So we've switched the asymmetric road over there. So we've got two lanes going this way, two lanes going that way. Um, yeah, and let's just make these two-way roads with bike lanes as well. And I'm thinking of going for these slightly bigger four lane ones with a protected bike lane in that we've had before i think that should be good 
and then we'll have to figure out what they're going to do uh, when they get over here. That one also can head off in this direction, which would sort of mirror this road that's coming down here, but a little bit further down and provide access over there. That will be good. Um, and then what I want to do is make sure we've got giveaway there. Um, that's set up. Actually, let's just do control shift click again. There we go. So now it's all working correctly. Yeah, that will be good. And then I don't think I mentioned this in the last episode. Let's show you something. I've been yesterday. All I wanted to do was it's like the equivalent of just mining in Minecraft. When you're having a bad day, all you want to do is just mine. So all I was doing was doing um, picking junctions and doing this sort of stuff. Well, that's the one I did in the video. Oh, I've lowered the uh, yellow down a bit. It's not so bright as it was. I think that looks a bit better. And for those that don't know, look at that. The guy didn't finish his job properly. There's a line missing there. <laughs> and for those that don't know, this uh, yellow grid here over an intersection is basically telling the traffic not to enter this grid unless they can leave the other side. Um, that's basically what it means. So... And I know the cars might not necessarily follow that rule, but that's what that means if you've never seen it before. So, yeah, I've like picked a few little junctions, put some uh, markings and things in. And here we go. Here's a good example. I can use a filler to fill in the bike lane now as well, which I hadn't really considered before. But I've got like a bike lane filler, which is good. And I think I just add a little bit with all the bike lanes that we've got. Yeah, so I've done that in a few little places. I did this big junction over here as well. This one here. going over the highway which i think looks quite good we've got like the little giveaway signs the yellow box there yeah looking good looking good anyway so let's go back to where we were before so let me run these roads around and just see what sort of shapes we end up with in this area okay there we go so this is the roundabout here the crossings over joining with this sort of arterial road perhaps you'd call it coming down there and this arterial road coming over here we've got the highway going underneath so we may have some other connections to the highway but i think at the moment we're definitely going to have another connection up here at some point but i've just sort of meandered this road through here we've got a bridge going over the highway there and a bridge going over the railway line there and i've checked all the heights and everything and i've just sort of followed it up here and connected down this way um, just so we've got access to all of these areas. So what I'm hoping is, is people that up here that want to get down here can take this faster road as well. Um, we might just have a quick look while I think of it at the speed of that road. So that's 100 all along there. 100, 100, 100, 100, 150 up here. 150. Yeah, it just slows down where it comes up to the junction. Okay, that's fine um and this is 50 yeah that's okay that's all fine so let's just plan out a little bit what we're going to do i'd like some sort of we've got the train station here i'd like this to be perhaps some sort of shopping area with a park in the middle because we don't have much commercial we have a few little bits dotted around but nothing much uh, maybe a bit of high density commercial in here where the training is, is as well and i'd like to sort of fit in some sort of unique building or something in here let me just have a quick look yeah i think the museum of modern art or the modern art museum uh would be fantastic in here let's just line it up i think perhaps sort of like that would be good in this space then have some shops around it and then a bit of a park as well I think would look quite interesting so let's grab uh, a road to go up to that yeah we'll take a one-way road we'll have it come off of here if we can go flat that'd be nice I think what we're going to do actually no we're not going to make this one-way road we're going to do this one here there we go we're going to have that come up there and then we're going to have it join down here as well and then we'll have that curve from there to there and then we'll have another little road come up here. Do, 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 do. I want this one here with the double trees. Straight. Like that. How big is it? Let's just quickly have another look. 
Yeah, we're going to run out of space if we're not careful. In fact, I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to just put it against this road here. So, and then around the outside here, shall we just go for standard high density commercial? I think that might be a good idea. Let's just fill in a few. We've got this school here. I'm going to put offices just along the front here. Then we're going to have a car park in there. And then I think the rest of this will do like that. I'm just wondering, actually, this little bit at the front, I would like a sort of a park area sort of in the middle here as well. Just to sort of fill up these couple of little gaps. So let's get our park, paint a park area tool. And we might just take in all of this. I'll go around the school. All the buildings will end up being in the park, but that's fine. Because it's only going to count in the entrances that they go in. Let's just do a little small quaint city park. Park side gate. Small park main gate. So we could have... If we have it opposite there... As the way to get in and out and then what we can do is we can have a couple of little bridges whoa <laughs> that is so high let's try that again only went up one step as well let's lower that to one meter let's put that back there we go that's more like it so one two three four yeah that might need to go up a little bit but we'll do that for now there we go. And then we'll go down to road height. Uh, ground height. One, two, three, four. We'll do the same over here as well. Let's go there. One, two, three, four. I'm using the page up key, by the way. I know some people have asked me how I'm doing that. One, two, three, four. There we go, something like that. Not too complicated, but it fills a nice little spot in between. So let's see what we get growing up around this. There we go. That is just the sort of look I was going for with the buildings built up around the outside. And then you've got this little hidden park in the middle here, which people are already coming to visit, which is fantastic. And the Museum of Modern Art. There we go. Nice. I like that. Nice little use of that area there. Um, let's just have a look at the name. Empire Meadows. Uh, we want to up that. Any suggestions for park names? Let me know. That's good. And they've got no water at all, so let me sort that out. There we go. Now they have water and people are upgrading as well. Look, it's a, this park over here was affecting these people. and They were upgrading during that little time lapse, which is fantastic. And these ones are too, which is nice. And what I'm just thinking of doing, we've got the train station right here. We've got buses that are coming through is, yeah, this one here. Let's grab my bus stop. I'm going to have a stop right outside the park. There we go. Excellent. So they can come to the Modern Art Museum and come to the park as well and keep upgrading. Uh, are we going to get someone come in here? Let's just pop someone in there. And over time, these buildings will get taller, which is just what I want. Let's just check and it's all filled in. Yep. And then this will become a nice little hidden park. Cool. Fantastic. And we'll get more visitors coming over here. This is one busy train station. Look at that. So many people waiting for the buses after they've got off the trains to take them around the place. 
I do like that. I like this little nook over here. It's becoming really good. Now, we do need some people. That's the whole point of what we're doing. We said, didn't we, we want to reach the next target of 34,000 to reach Capital City, unlock another square. So maybe this little place along here. We've got some lovely trees and things. It's not going to give us a huge boost, but I think a low density area in here and before i do that i just want to sort out the heights of this key wall that we've got coming along here here we go that's much better so for this area here we could have uh quite easily a road coming off of here and a road coming off of there i might just stick to it coming off just the main road here uh first of all so if we just go for our standard as we know this will work uh little what is that up in the air? What is going on? Let's go back to this one here. We'll go for our little asymmetrical road. Let's turn that around. Uh, let's just make sure we set that before we forget. There we go. Dedicated turn lanes coming in. Good. And then we can build off of that. Okay, so I've just been going around messing with the heights because we are working with some very slopey land around here. And I think that is actually looking okay. And um, we've got this little wiggle at the end here to come back around again. I don't mind that. That's fine. And then what I want to do is I want to put houses in the middle and leave all the trees around the outside. So let me just get rid of the trees in the middle here. There we go. Excellent. Let's get a zone in here as well. So let's zone all of it. We're going to do something probably the other side of the road too. But for now, it's just going to be this zone here. Just up to that edge. Very good. And this is going to be... Uh, I want self-sufficient buildings. And I want the small self-sufficient buildings. So I did say this isn't going to make a huge dent <laughs> on our population. And now you can see why. I'm trying to get that one there just to do that. And I want to leave this bit along the path here free with the trees as well because we've got this cycling path that runs alongside here. Now, this does have walking on there, so I need to connect that cycling path. In fact, while I'm thinking of it, let's grab the picker mod. Let's grab that. And here under the bridge... No, let's do a little bit further out. I want to... Ah, why won't it let me? I want to attach that to this. And it's jumping, it's jumping. Let's turn off node snapping. I'll tell you what, I'll do that. And I'll use the move it mod to grab that and just move it back here. So that now connects to there. And I'll do that in a couple of places along here. Can I do it that way? And then use the move it mod to swing that round. And then do the height thing to set it to the right height. I can, and it's made of cool looking funky little bridge and then i can probably use the move it mod to copy that and then snap that in in other places if it will let me let's put snapping on as well <laughs> oh yeah that works fine needs a little bit of readjustment but i don't mind that there you go that's okay so they can now connect and walk along the key wall or that little bicycle path there which is good and then in here we are just going to put some low density housing so let's fill all of that in and i do like the low density look that we get there we go with these self-sufficient houses i think they look very very nice and then we'll make sure that they've got enough mass transit and services actually before we unpause the game um, so let's just turn that on and take a look. So hospital is all the way over here. We've got nothing in this area at all. I think we'll go with a more modern looking one. We could even go with a large hospital with all these large buildings that we've got. We could pop one behind here. Let's just turn off that white screen. So that one or this one. That's not too tall, but I do like this more modern looking one. Yeah, I'm going to pop that right here. So it's got access to that road coming out. And that is going to cover all of this as well. Look, if we hold it against the road, that's going to cover most of that. Uh, fire station, where's the nearest one? A long way away again. So maybe we'll just sneak a small one in over here. And that will just cover everything. And it'll be good. Police. Police coverage is pretty much okay that's down there so i'm sure this will be fine as well schools oh yeah schools i tell you what we could do with those as we go in for the green look buildings 
is we could use these ones over here. So we've got the community school that alternative to elementary school and we could pop that on the back here off the main road uh, and then we've got the institute of creative arts which is the alternative to the high school oh, i was hoping that would squeeze in there i wouldn't squeeze in there either we could have that the other side of the road couldn't we and then we could have a bus stop over there and i think that'll be okay let's just take a quick look at our bus stops we've got this orange one where does that go? Just so we're not sending this. Oh my goodness me, that goes miles, does it? It's this one here that goes all the way. Ah, oh, that's like our bus stop that comes all the way up here to this other train station, isn't it? It's like a shuttle bus from one side to the other. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to run a bus around here. We'll have... Let's have it come in there. Go around there. Stop over there. Stop on the way out come up here and stop by the school and then the train station oh that's finished empty and that's good to know um oh there we go look it's going to come around here via the park which way is that going down the road yeah so we'll have a stop by the park stop over there and then back again it's a small little bus that will make everybody complain because everybody's always right on the buses that they've seen <laughs> And nobody else is. Yes, I'm not bitter about that at all. Let's add a few office buildings in just around the schools. Always thinks that helps a little bit. And you know what else? Before we unpause this, I want to park in the middle here of some description. Um, that could be quite good. If we could add a plaza right there, then we can get our walking path. Uh, yeah, let's go for the standard walking path and we can sort of connect that. Page down, page down, page down, page down, page down. I want that to connect there. And there. There we go. There, there. And then we can have... Let's have a look. Whoa, not that many trees. We can have... A couple of three trees there. A couple of three trees there. A couple of three trees there. Welcoming you into the park. Yeah, I think that'd be nice. Okay. So, let's see. Let's go for this view. There we go. And see what we get in here. I love this bit. Hey, look, I've given them all water now and they're upgrading their houses. <laughs> Who'd have thunk? <laughs> yeah, I think this looks okay. I'm, I'm liking this. Getting just a little tall office block area here by the schools. And then these small little residential houses here with a view of the beach and the bay. And do you know what else we could add along here? Which I hadn't thought about. We've got our ferries and stuff, haven't we? Coming up and down here. Also, something upgraded. I'm not quite sure which it was, but a park somewhere upgraded. Uh, would it, oh, it's this one over here. Look, gone to level two, which means we've unlocked a couple of things. Oh, no, we've already unlocked things for the park, haven't we? That's fine. Um, what was I doing? Yeah, ferry, ferry, ferry. Had a brain fart there. Uh, let's have a look where our ferries are. So our ferry comes down here and stops here. Mm, could we run that round a bit? I don't want to put any down here, but we could run it all the way round. Can we fit it in somewhere? How did we do these ones? Did we get them to sit on the wall? Oh, the ferry goes a long way, doesn't it? Where's the nearest ferry stop? <laughs> it's miles away. There it is. Yeah, we can just about, with the move it mod, it looks like, get it to sit just over the wall. Okay, let's follow this river back again. So then it comes to here. And then I want it to come round to over here to have access to all of that. So in fact, this little spot here looks perfect. Let's just pause the game a sec. If we pop that in there, if we then use the move it mod, control H, get that to the right height. That looks okay to me. Um, I just need to change that bit of key wall there. What's this one called? Ah, so that's the one we want. 
Oh, and I can't upgrade it. Can I just delete a bit of that? And then regret that later. Space ready occupied. Not anymore. There we go. And then move it mod just to shiftify that in a bit. And I'm going to move that node down. There we go. So we've got the park, bench, and tree section up to just before. And then, yeah, that's fine. Let's just get that the right height. Let's try that again. That little node, control H, same height as that. Nice. Okay. And then we just need a road connection. Well, we've got this road right here. So if I just grab this teeny tiny little two way road. And can I just literally come straight out the back of that into there? I think that'll be fine. Um, and then I do just want to lift up this key wall a bit. If I go the height of that. Yeah, there we go. Smooth it out. Excellent. Now we just need to mess with this bridge. So what I'm going to do is select those two nodes. And I know these bridges over here, this one here, for instance, is the right height. <coughs> Excuse me. So control H on that. And then we'll look how bad it is. Yeah. Um... So, if we move this node back like that, and then I want to take out this bit here. So, I'm going to go road picker, pick this road. Then I'm going to change it to the elevated part, upgrade, and do that. And I'm going to do the same over here. And can we move this node back a bit without it looking too hawky borky? Do you know what? We can. How's that? That is not too bad, I have to say. And this all still lines up okay. Path still gets to where it needs to go, perhaps. We can move that over a little bit. There we go. And people can walk around the outside. And maybe ignore that wall. Oh, yeah. I need to stop that emptying. Oh, no. Hang on. Empty. I think it's empty. Yeah, I wanted to move that because that is our trash collecting thing. So I had to empty it to move it. Um... <laughs> Right by the hospital. I just want it out of the way somewhere. And then we'll end up moving it again at another point. Uh, let's just pop it over there for now. And then we'll do the stop emptying. That's fine. Off you go. You get back to work. Excellent. So now we can upgrade our ferry line from here. So we're going to have that tool there. And we're going to go around here. Yeah, I've got to stay this side of that line because we don't own that square. There we go. Against the tide. Through the middle. Oh, man, that's going to be tight. Tell you what, we'll just go... Yeah, we'll anarchy that bit in. You can come around the corner there. <laughs> and then we'll grab our root. So let's have a look. Our root comes up to here. So if I... I want to find the end of that root. Come on, fairy, get out of the way. There it is. So if I get that, drag that stop to move it here... There we go. And then we'll add in a stop there. Is that going to do it backwards and forwards? I think it is because it looks like it. The line comes in and stops there. Let's just make sure that works. <laughs> She's just gone straight past it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to drag this line, which is the in line, and add a stop. And I drag that line already, which is the other way line. I've got to stop going the other way. So that should be fine. Let's just check. Fitting under the bridge here isn't an issue. No. Nope. Oh, look at that. What skill. What skill. And then he's going to 360 it back under the bridge again. Nice. Excellent. So that gives people here access. Uh, tell you what I'm going to do. Here comes the other ferry. Is I'm also going to just grab that. And go from there to <laughs> there. What is going on with these things? I don't know. Uh, upgrade. Move it mod off, please. Thank you very much. Upgrade that. Ugh. There we go. So we've got a cycle path. Path connected here now. We've got this one going up here. Uh, we've got... Oh, is it putting like some red lines for a bus stop? Oh, nice. I don't think I've seen those before. Didn't that used to be like a protected... Is he actually going to drive in and go on them? Oh, he is. Look. Somebody updated that road then. Because didn't that used to be like a concrete 
piece that you didn't drive on. I know where there's some in the city. I'll go and check those in a minute. Let's just do our road sign. So control, left click with that tool. Watch this road arrow here. We'll get a dedicated turning lane. We're going to give that give way so the main road's got priority all the way around. And then here, I would say that one gives way. Do you know what? Actually, they can just keep going. It's not going to be that busy. That's fine. Uh, that already gives way coming out. So does that. We're going to do the same there. We're going to do the same there. We're going to do the same there. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. What are we up to? 29,000. We're losing people for some reason. Oh, yeah. I was going to check that bus concrete stock thing. Oh, you have no water. Oh, my goodness me. I'm forgetting about all the water. Let's just run this pipe over there we might as well do this one as well finish off that little spot good uh yeah it was up here somewhere wasn't it we had those roads it was these ones here hmm maybe they did get upgraded and it's the smaller version rather than the bigger version like this yeah anyway i'll be glad if that's how they work and that will be good i think that little community is a nice little addition to this over here Still not quite getting to our next target, though, are we? We've had everybody move in. What have we got? 414 population. I want this bit along here to be high density. Probably green housing as well, as that's what we've got down here. And I think that will definitely push us to the next target. Okay, there we go. Let's just take a look at this area here. Still building up. We can help these guys and girls out. Oh, 30,000. What do we need? 34,000. We're going to hit it. We're definitely going to hit it. Uh, let's get the move it mod back and copy the trees. Darn it. I thought we still had the trees selected. Let's just copy a selection of... I don't want to copy, copy a selection of trees. Just like a thin sliver like that. Uh, and they can be placed in the middle. Do you know what I'm going to do, actually? Before I do that, I'm going to grab our cycling path. And before these little spots here get filled up with houses, uh, turn off the guard lines. I'm going to go up there like that. I'm going to go down there like that. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Let's try that again. Up there like that. And then curve this around. Sort of add a little... Add a little cycling path in here. And then, I'm sorry I'm going to destroy your house, but I'm going to add one in there as well. Just to get from one side to the other. Uh, while that's still growing, I've just had a little bit of detail around this park. We've got some uh, fences around there, and I've added little cycle paths here to connect all of this to this cycle path network that goes around uh, let's get back to the trees that we're going to add in yes still got them copied so i want that there and that there just to fill up that little spot that's going to have something growing anyway and then we'll just plop some in the middle there making sure making sure prop and tree anarchy is off and we'll just drop some in the middle there as well a couple of big ones yeah, that looks nice. And I also want to just fill this in along the road and the rail line. So I'm just going like that. Oh, the difference that makes instantly. The difference that makes. This area is looking rather nice. Even if I do say so myself, people are upgrading. Okay, there's more things we can do. Um, so let's just take a look at... Yeah, they've all got water. That's a good start. Our bus line... Okay, so we've got this bus line here, which is looping around all over the place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bus line into here. 
So that's going to go around in a massive loop as well. Uh, I'm going to add a stop there and a stop at this end. And then what I'll do off camera is I'll go through these, these bus lines and I want the orange one. <laughs> it won't let me get it. <laughs> Let's turn off the blue one. There we go. And I'll, I'll make them run around the proper way and all that sort of thing. So it makes more sense. So that's going to go in the other way. So if I had a stop up there, we'll add a stop there. And we'll add a stop up here. There we go. Excellent. Good. That'll do for now. And then, like I said, off camera, I'll sort them out to go the right way around and to be working better and all that sort of good stuff. But I'm liking the way that's filled up that space. That just looks... That just looks really nice, I have to say. What are we up to? 30,000. Is this going to hit the 34,000 that we need? Do you know what we could help with in here? Is a little bit of parkage. Let's just add in. Yeah, no parking. No park to this end. I want a teeny tiny small dog park. That isn't going to destroy too much. We'll add that one in there. So that building will have to grow again. And we'll add... Oh, look at that. Perfect. Right at the end there. That'll give those all a bonus. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Oh, some of these places haven't got names. Need to go through and do another naming session at some point. Oh, look at these guys right out here on the end. Just for now, a little teeny tiny park. And these just don't... This industry area is devoid of park. I think they can have a dog walking park. Okay, it's going to go right by the river. Hooray! And they will like that. Yep, there we go. Everybody's happy with the park. There we go. So we've expanded today all of this area up here, all of this down here, and a few more houses down that road. Every junction has got an asymmetrical road coming out to aid with the traffic, giveaway signs, dedicated turning lanes. We've got parks, we've got trees. Uh, we might need a few more schools around here. We'll come back and check that out. But I like this little, I like the way this looks. Sort of coming off the main road and then the loop going round. And this one here with the, as it's bigger loop, with the one-way road going in each direction. And then our museum in the middle with this little park. And I'm trying to find other things to talk about because we're literally just about to hit the 34,000. <laughs> I've had to move this uh, waste transfer facility about four times. It's now over here. We will build a dedicated area for that somewhere, I think. And there we are. We're like four people away from hitting it. Ten people. Eleven people. Not many people. Six people. Yes. Finally. 
Oh, it's taken so long. What do we have access to now? Another area. We really need that. Ships, university campus area, universal education, university stuff, harbors, cargo harbors. Yeah, all the things you see on the screen. That is absolutely fantastic. What do you think? How's this new area coming along? Let me know in the description below. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a like as well if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all very soon for the next one. Have a good weekend. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.